buying your problems away is not gonna get it like literally like Jesus <laughs> marriage kids yeah she's in the top five she is in the top five y'all of like best decisions Melissa ever made open the floodgates of heaven hey guys hola como estas bienvenidos it's your girl Melissa Q coming back with another video yes and y'all I know it's spring clean week and we had to pause for just a second I wanted to do an insert because you'll see some other videos with the same outfit in just a sec but I wanted to do it a uh, get ready with me just because I wanted to do a reflection on hiring a pro like what I thought my thoughts the advantages y'all because it's in my top five of best decisions of my life seriously thank you so much Kay thank you girl we definitely have become like friends behind the scenes and this is the advantage of YouTube you know and um, I just thank you so much I just want to personally say that first of all and thank you guys for watching oh my goodness I hope this you find this helpful in this video this is a get ready with me talking about some of the things the discussion the my thoughts of hiring a pro organizer to help me get through some past pains in my life yes I hope you guys find this helpful and let's get started I have missed you guys but I have been here gonna be using products that we actually use now in my makeup collection I am so happy I wanted to come with this now I wanted to insert this one because y'all I did a couple of more passes through my makeup collection and I want to show you guys a spread of everything that I got rid of so far and we still have to do palettes Kay and I were I was like I want to hug you y'all literally she is my Ayala fix my life I wanted to talk about in this get ready get ready with me some tips and um, actually the advantages of hiring a pro organizer to come when you have no idea what you're doing whether it's through trauma or you just have no idea what you're going to do I want to talk about some like advantages like this was like one of the best decisions of my life okay having my kids married to the husband that I have um, accepting Jesus in my life and then a pro organizer is on the list of like best decisions ever so everything that I put on my face I will list down below but my face is already moisturized I have not done brows but I want to talk about some of the advantages and I have like some notes on my phone let's talk about one of the first lessons that I learned in this declutter first of all the virtual one I feel like was more my scope the one that I really wanted to go with because I, it wasn't as intimidating. I think I would have felt forced with someone like standing over me and kind of hovering me. So that was one of the things that definitely was a plus in the book. And I need to get my everyday makeup bag. Hold, hold please. Everyday makeup bag. I, de I decluttered this too, guys, and you'll see this up on the channel. I'm going to put a couple of different declutters. I want to declutter my clothes. I think it's definitely motivation to go throughout other parts of your life. I know she's going to help me. We're going to do a part two in terms of palettes because that's hard. You know what else is hard that I didn't realize? Highlighters. I was looking at my highlighters and I was like, girl, that was a lot of highlighters. Do you want to beam from the moon? Like... Do you want to be in the next Marvel movie? Maybe, yeah. I think having her virtually also, the energy that she brought was just perfect because she was just very lighthearted. She was like, yeah, let's just do it. I think it was the perfect, you know, you have to trust the person. And I talked about this in the other video that I did. You have to trust the person that is helping you declutter. I did not feel like I was getting lost or I was going to lose myself. I felt like if she were here and I talked about this, I may have done more crying <laughs> than actually attacking my makeup collection just because y'all like letting go of this was very emotional for me. And I felt like her being here would not have been, I, I probably would have cried on her shoulder most of the time and not really I would, 
hiring her would she was like did you hire me to declutter or just like declutter your tears you know what i mean so i was really glad that i got a chance to do that and um i think the virtual was definitely a plus for me although she's in boston girl virtual hugs i think it was definitely a plus her being in a different city and us doing it facetime wise the next plus was definitely i feel like knowing that she likes makeup too so it's not like get rid of everything you i want you to look dry as toast uh she asked me some personal questions in terms of my makeup beauty aesthetic like my makeup aesthetic like you know i know you like dewy products or everything so, so it's not that i think it was more about not necessarily the declutter what would be the best choices for me and that's one of the things that i saw because she was like i see you like dewy products you know i know you have drier skin you probably would like products that are a little bit more dewier and so she was okay with like me going in like that into my makeup collection and so currently, y'all, because of that, I'm going to look more into doing another declutter. This is so crazy. Now I'm like, okay, it's almost like that first good cry that you have. And you're just like that, that ugly cry, you know, K was my ugly cry <laughs> in terms of my makeup. And now it's like, I'm letting it all out, you know? Open the floodgates of heaven. You know that old mother in the church that just sings like, ah, that's how I felt. So yeah, I had my good cry with Kay. And now I can like really press into the things that I like and I'm not holding on to things that are directly, I feel like emotionally attached or tied to Brooklyn I feel like I know now through a realization like an aha moment I don't know when it happened y'all I don't know when it happened but I'm like this makeup is not associated with the memory of my daughter I'm gonna always remember her and to be honest with you none of this was really I don't want to say none of this was here before she passed away I think a lot of it was accumulated during the pain process, which let me know that all, like not all of this, but it was accumulated. Uh, a lot of this was accumulated due to me not handling or not, not necessarily handling, not addressing the issue in a healthy way. I hope that makes sense because like, that's why I don't want to use the word retail therapy because I feel like I would just, I would not be this is liquid glow oh I can put this on my face I would not be handling the situation and just even in this it's like address situations for what they are um you know I know hindsight is 2020 but I definitely feel like I should have oh that's pretty I should have gone to some type of therapy even if it was like grievance counseling like i did a little bit over the phone but i definitely should have gone to which it was offered by the hospital i should have done that rather than you know and that's the other thing that i i feel like you're going to deal with pro you you're going to deal with issues regardless the question is, will you deal with it healthy? Because because I did not deal with it healthy, in a healthy way. You know what I mean? I did not deal with it in a healthy way. And it lets me know that you will deal with the situation. But the question is, Melissa, will you deal with it the next time healthy? And I definitely <laughs> learned so much in this. And it's God is amazing. God is amazing because you may not have learned your lesson, particularly in one way, but in another, you learn, you learn the lesson regardless. So next thing to go are palettes. Ah! 
can you believe I have not taken off this film? Oh my goodness. Oh, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. That's definitely my theme song right now. I can see all the obstacles in my way. Okay. I know. It's gonna be a... I just feel like a weight beyond a weight is lifted and it's it's amazing like this was definitely my therapy and I hope this is you know this is not to make anyone feel bad this is just what I went through and hopefully this will prevent you from going in this direction and if you are already here maybe this will help you into stopping a, a a bad habit and starting a new one because it's not gonna cut it the problem's still gonna be there and you will handle it but the question again is are you handling it in a healthy way are you talking about it are you getting to the root of the problem you know um and this is just not for people who dealt with loss like i've seen people who have gone through like terrible divorces deal with like not deal with their issues and then they go and get remarried taking that baggage into another relationship you know what i mean and it's just whatever situation whatever you're going through ask yourself because this is something definitely i'm asking myself now do am i handling this healthy am i deflecting from really and a lot of that you know what came through prayer it was like when you're going through you really can't see yourself you can't see you don't see yourself clearly because you're just everything is a blur you're like you can't think right you know you need someone and that's why it is okay to go get help go to someone that's stronger than you first of all you know if, if that's an issue you know definitely don't go to somebody who's worse off than you or going I, I feel like even sometimes going through the same thing is sometimes you need someone to help you with the steps and definitely y'all the wonderful thing about God is that I, I feel like some, <coughs> excuse me, some answers you do receive in prayer by listening to him, but others in this, and th of course, this is my case, y'all. I heard what God was saying, but also he was sending me people to help those, get through those steps. Or go through those steps uh, I, I feel like and maybe I'll even talk about in another video about you know the condition that I had in the case you have it my case part of it is quite common so I had to be on bed rest with both of my sons and it was through Brooklyn that I figured I found that out let's talk about it in the comments Y'all let me know. Okay, so that was one of the things. Kay and I were talking and I made some a few notes and this was another thing that we chatted about. Items can sometimes be a, an attachment to our past selves. So when our tastes change, we should give ourselves permission to try something new because I was looking at a product. I actually decluttered it today. I was looking at a product and I was like, I really like this maybe like two years ago. But I don't like it anymore. I don't like the texture of it. You know, I used to love full coverage and a lightweight concealer. Now it's, I like a full coverage <laughs> concealer and a lightweight foundation. So I like more like a skin-like foundation. Uh, so sometimes your tastes change and you have to give yourself permission to like something new and know that that was your past self. You know, I like that then. And there's no reason why I can hold on to this now. Uh, and then because what happens is your makeup collection becomes a mix of what you liked in the past versus what you like now. And it, it's just, you're it's like 
it's like a makeup collection of confusion okay not to say that you won't go back to it or anything but by that time it's, it's expired and we wonder why our skin is all messed up and jacked up or whatever we're putting expired products on our face so giving myself permission i was like you know what melissa you know what you like why are you fronting like that you know what you like so you know be okay be okay with trying something new and if you like it you like it i noticed like in terms of concealers i like my concealers to be either in a tube or a wand i don't really like concealers that are in a pot where i have to you know glossier stretch concealer is a it's a um it's an exception to the rule because i'm using it with my tarp shape tape but sometimes i just don't want to deal with it you know what i mean i just i don't i don't i don't i don't and today we're going to use a little bit of tart and remember when products are expired the texture sometimes even changes after you've kept it a long time like this tart shape tape i've had for a while this is like the everlasting god stopper i talked about this y'all and but i don't have to set it with a powder i really like the coverage and i don't know just give yourself permission to like new things okay because now just because i don't do retail therapy does not mean i don't purchase items but now the motive behind the item is like i think about what i have at home versus you know do i really need that no, I'm not doing it for a YouTube channel. I'm not, uh, or my YouTube channel. No, I'm not going to be reviewing it. I review products, but it needs to be if I genuinely would want to purchase this with my own money and not because, oh, I'm doing it for swatches or, you know, sometimes I've done it for that, but I know ultimately it's because I want to purchase the item. I've got into that mode of at first. Oh, I'm gonna do this for my YouTube channel, y'all. That wasn't true to me. So now it is, if it's for my channel, it has to be for me first. So, there you go. So give yourself permission to like new stuff, okay? Give yourself permission, you know, our skin changes. You might end up liking something based upon if, if things in your collection are not to your liking and it's like, oh, I got to work it and you feel worse. The whole point of makeup is for you to feel confident, you know, why well, put on makeup and it's not going to make you feel confident. You know, it, it you're supposed to be presenting your best self every day. And if it's not going to do that and you feel some type of way and I, I, I now get the Mari Kondo method of things, KonMari method, excuse me. And it's, you're supposed to, it's supposed to spark joy. If it doesn't spark joy, why do you have it on your face? I have 14 foundation. So Kay was saying, keep, this is how sometimes you can do a declutter too. Don't talk about what you don't want. Pull the things that you know give you the best complexion ever, like without question, like NARS Sheer Glow, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, my Dior Star, which I'm gonna show you guys on camera today because I don't think I've ever showed this on camera, although oh, it's so good. But basically she was saying because creams and liquids tend to expire, powders, you have more of a leeway. Give yourself permission to to just only keep your best like complexion products so i'm going to do another declutter really when i looked at k she was doing a declutter on her channel her makeup collection if you want to check it out she only has like three foundations i was like three foundations oh my god but it makes sense because like within a year's time and most of them, once you open it, it says 12 months. I've had a couple of that said 24. Like the 
Control Drops by NYX. Total Control Drops says 24 months, I think. Oh, this is another thing. It's going to give you, by you having a limited amount of whatever you have, not saying that everything has to be limited, but particularly we talking about my foundation concealers. It gives me permission to, <coughs> it gives me permission to go and explore other things without feeling overwhelmed. And I can play with them. And if it doesn't top my type five, I can move it on out of my collection and still feel free and not cluttered and all of that so i'm really excited about this uh declutter coming up that i'm going to do comment and let me know if you guys want to see that though first okay um i have about mm, 14 15 because i didn't count the laura mercier or the narsha glow because those are two one was as a gift and another one i bought as a complexion product yeah um let's see comment and let me know if y'all want to see that and maybe we can do like swatches or something of all my different foundations because i am loving foundation sticks right now y'all i know i showed this but i have been loving foundation sticks and i'm telling y'all the wet and wild what wet and wild that is like my favorite foundation from them i thought the photo focus was gonna be mm -mm, mm -mm. The foundation stick so oh this goes in here okay 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 decluttering this y'all because i don't know no we're gonna declutter it i know i'm going back through things and it's like mm, do i really like that no we're gonna read no thank you have y'all seen that video worry about yourself that's what she said uh so giving myself permission and i'm going back through like a couple of my palettes to see because palettes are going to be hard but y'all i don't use palettes the way that i used to anymore i use less so just giving myself permission for that you know I might keep a couple of like colored palettes and not colored palettes, a lot, uh, some with some color in it, but I don't even know what rules I would give myself. What rules do you give yourself when you all are keeping your palettes? I would love to know that. Like what rules are you going to get? Do you give yourself? Because lately, what I have been doing, I haven't bronzed yet, y'all. I look crazy right now. With the passing of my daughter, like some of the things that I think associated with definitely tangible things. And just like see, seeking help in terms of grieving. Y'all know, listen, hit me up in the DMs. Even if, if you've gone through anything like this and you need support... I'm here with y'all and if I don't know where to get if I if I personally can't help you or be that support or at least listening ear and you need something close to you I'll help you find it like I'm that girl I'm that friend if I don't know I will find somebody who will you know what I mean so definitely y'all let's do this let's get our life back That person will always be a piece of you no matter what. They're, they can't be replaced, you know? They cannot be replaced. None of my children are can be replaced, you know? So, I 
and get something that you can like re remember them I am I, I should have a locket on its way that I'm gonna show you all that I'm getting with Brooklyn her sonogram when I when um when I was pregnant with her and it has her due date on the sonogram I'm getting that in, in I'm getting it with her engraving um, her birthday and her name her full name on the locket so it's not that as I am pulling from this and I'm decluttering and everything I, I do I'm gonna have something that's attached to me that's okay for me to have you know to me that is healthier than accumulating all of this stuff I have something that's just like this is my this is my memory of her it's gonna stay right here rather than buying things that are like they're indirectly associated with her you know what I mean so that's actually what I plan on doing so it's not like you know oh I'm just not having I'm not remedying that part of me that is missing her I'm like okay I miss her and everything and I'm just gonna put her uh, her sonogram is in the locket with her name engraved and I can keep it close to my heart so <coughs> That's something that I am doing. Nobody told me to do it. I think once I started doing the declutter, that kind of like came to me. Y'all, I am feeling so much better. I'm feeling so much better. Let's spray the face. Oh, and let me tell you another plus is that I only wanted to address one thing at a time. So I didn't feel like, like she was invading my space. I didn't want her to see my whole room. Okay. I just wanted her to concentrate on my makeup collection first, because that's all I could handle. You know, not to say that she probably would be like, girl, I could help you with some other parts, but I feel like this was the part that I really wanted to address. I felt, I didn't feel like an invasion of prophecy of her being in my home. Not to say that I wouldn't invite Kate in my home. It's just that when you are vulnerable like that, I felt like I would be exposed to other criticisms just by just not seeing my makeup collection but like even other parts that I haven't even taken the steps into starting I think the makeup was definitely like a part that I needed to handle just because me and my husband do not share that part together you know that was a part that I felt like I was working on myself and definitely we talk about you know Brooklyn and as a couple which is a different discussion but I feel like makeup the makeup collection the hair collection the clothes the things I feel like I'm working on myself and by working on myself I'm helping my relationship does that make sense I'm not I'm not trying to like declutter his clothes and worry about what he's doing you know what I mean I'm worrying about myself and it's helping our relationship just by me concentrating on the things that have personally affected me through this like painful experience that both of us have had it definitely has made us be stronger but me working on myself is helping my relationship I feel so that is it you guys decluttering while we're doing makeup talking about like how I felt hiring a pro best decision ever I'm telling you it's on the list y'all now she was there to hold my hand and even afterwards y'all I was crying and she was like it's okay let it out I was like I love you so much you're like Ayala fixed my life for me and yeah it was amazing that's the whole the whole experience I highly recommend if you are if you can't get past something or maybe you're even stuck even if it's not a pro I'll definitely you know put Kay's information down 
in the description box below in the case of any of you guys want to do one of her virtual consultations um and you can talk to her specifically about what you're looking for she did send me a questionnaire that you know asked a couple of questions for me and then she gave me some homework i felt like you know what she gave me my space and that's the thing i love about it is that she helped me with my space but she gave me space to like i didn't feel like she was like micromanaging me and this declutter I didn't feel like I, I just felt so much lighter and as you can tell in her video of the single eyeshadows I really talked myself into decluttering a lot of it and she was just there for like moral support but she had already given me some tools prior to so I kind of like went in with thought process and I thought that was really good I think hiring a pro you also get like the therapy that you need like just talking to someone and you know they're on the other side of the spectrum and the great thing about it is i was not her only client that has felt that way she was like you know what i've had clients that you know she was able to like have some other entities that related to where i was which was so helpful because a, a lot of times we suffer in silence because we feel like we're the only ones and that was a great that was like i think one of the biggest parts of the whole declutter that played up like a huge role she gave me the tools and she also came with that emotional support that i needed to like hold my hand virtually while i was doing the declutter so i hope this and i hope this helps someone i wanted to kind of like do a follow-up and show y'all how many passes of like how much makeup i've gotten through and i'm still decluttering and that's the wonderful thing about it is that i feel free to declutter now i just did all my makeup i'm not gonna cry y'all i have to say that so i can like hold it together i think that this is definitely a step in the right direction i feel like i'm handling this in a healthy way which is what something something that i didn't do before I'm not beating myself up about it because the great thing about it is i am starting the journey of having a healthy relationship with items with and it's going to like filter over to my clothes and to my and, and it's gonna make my husband really happy because i am like organizing my space i'm cleaning my space and as i clean my heart like i definitely think that you're like i definitely think that the things around you reflect what's on the inside so if it's cluttery if you like my brain i can tell when i'm you think so much better when you have a clean space can I get an amen? Y'all just, y'all know, some people can, some, let me not say that for everybody. Some people can think in like clutter and that that's how they operate, I guess. But for me, I just feel so much freer when we do that. And I totally agree. I totally agree. I'm just so glad that I am tackling the makeup and I am keeping what I'm using and it's getting better and there is not a period but there is a comma at the end of all of this because it's a continuance and it's gonna keep going and you know before I buy something I kind of like check my spirit to like see like Melissa are you in a good place like did you just get in an argument you know or disagreement with your husband and are you purchasing it through like channeling that rather than talking about it not saying that that happened i'm just you know just giving an example y'all giving it an example but you know how it is let's just be real in terms of life you know are we doing things to deflect the real issue and i'm telling y'all much prayer being god's word and having a pro organizer by your side yes the trifecta <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know this was a long one so thanks so much for watching i hope this helped comment down below and let uh let's start a conversation in the comments of like maybe some things that <clears throat> you do in order to center recenter your place so you know to recenter yourself or to rebalance comment down below let's start a conversation down in the comments of 
things that we can do to rebalance ourselves. Do you exercise? Do you do yoga? Do you run? Do you write? You know, I would love to know. I, I started keeping a, I have a prayer request list of like things that I want to pray for. I have my study Bible. I have books that I want to read. I just, I don't want to indulge in just like one thing because when that happens, we just tend to like only concentrate it on concentrate on that thing and a lot of times things get missed we miss out on a lot of things because of other things we we miss out on life you know what i mean we miss out on traveling we miss out on the finer things in life because we're like stuck and it's okay but let's like move forward into bettering ourselves that's that's all but comment down below let's start a conversation in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video bye y'all peace <coughs> so i will see you guys in the next video peace and blessings i'll see you soon bye